So this is the Overland Hotel and Saloon. That's where the, there's actually um, Ghost Adventures TV series, season 12, episode 14. They did a whole episode on some, one of the rooms is supposedly haunted. So I'm gonna walk around here, find something interesting. Walk up there and up to the road right above and see some of the cool little old houses. And, oh. But this is a cool town. Have you ever been to Bisbee, uh, Arizona? You know what? No, I actually, actually I haven't. Oh, yeah. well, let me tell you. This reminds me of Bisbee, but <laughs> yeah. it's, it's so much smaller. Bisbee is one of the coolest towns I've ever been in my life. Is that? Um, and it's a mining town. Yep, open it wait, up. Wait, wait, that's a holy shit, yeah, there it is. Open, open it up. Oh my god, is it, am I I'm not gonna get haunted if I open it, right? You're gonna probably <laughs> get in there. We don't have skinwalkers. Open it up. Oh Skin god. <laughs> I just don't want a ghost haunting me tonight and following me home or some shit. Here, oh, maybe you should open no, it. <laughs> I'm just opening it, don't freaking haunt me for this. Anybody in there? Oh my god. That's a heavy Oh Jesus. Oh wow, Cole, look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Wow, look at that. Alright, a little bit windy out today. A little windy out today, so hopefully it won't be too bad. This is the aerial tramway. Let's get a look at some of this. It says unsafe mine down there. You can see everything's kind of roped off. But uh, I'm going to try to get a better look at this from a different angle. Okay. You can see up there the tramway. We're going to take a look at this with an aerial, aerial view. This is the Lincoln County Courthouse. Of course it's closed and today's got to be for some reason it's going to be real windy today and tomorrow which really sucks when you're trying to film with a drone anyway this place is normally open and it has some interesting things inside but currently closed can see here it's got a reputation for a high cost probably somebody was making a big profit off it anyway here we go now this is right near the million dollar courthouse which is called that because there was a lot of corruption in uh, inflating the cost but this is a house right next to it called the Mountain View Hotel 1895 for the miners and visitors so you can read it and uh, I'll get a outside view for you
you can see it's old very old Kind of falling apart up there. Need some restoration. And I wanted to see the jail section, but apparently, uh, well, the place is closed. But I guess you, yeah. See, even this place is locked up. The jail section in the back there. What a pain in the ass. That's all right. There's the old ore cart on the tramway. What better way to start our investigation at the Boot Hill Cemetery? How are you doing, sir? Howdy. Welcome to Butte. Jim Kelly is the unquestioned authority on the history of Butte. Is it true that this place was darker than Tombstone or Deadwood? All this place made Deadwood look like choir practice. We averaged a murder a week. The most they ever had in uh, Tombstone practice was seven murders in one year. Here, it was a common occurrence. There were 72 people murdered and buried in Boot Hill before anybody ever died of natural causes. 72 people buried in Boot Hill Cemetery right no. here? murdered and buried in Boot Hill Cemetery before anybody ever died of natural causes. A lot of it was uh, claim jumpers. There were a lot of shootouts downtown, but the majority was claim jumpers. You would be mining for six, eight months, toiling away in your mess. There could be a amount of ore that needs to be processed. I bushwhacked you. You're dead. You go down to mine. I own the mine. Where there's murder, where there's bloodshed, where there's bushwhacking, there's hauntings. Oh, there's some very active spirits. Now, this is the old section we're going to go at. That's the newer stuff, but here's the old stuff. A lot of these are some they say are unmarked there's a boot so everything we're going to look at here is from the 1800s and a lot of was done by just regular criminal activity and disputes with mining claims harry gorman september 1870 Killed by George Hirsch. How do you like that? Hmm. Where's George Hirsch? This one, the wind blew down. That's a pain. Can't read it. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't want to mess that with that one. It's in too bad a shape. That one needs to be restored. not to walk on it but how else am I gonna look at this this says shot by a uh, shot by a something uh, looks like a date 28th he wounded his something aim no one even knew his name. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, that's hard to read. Here's one July 6th, 1873. John Lynch shot during dispute dispute over a dog. If you can see that. John Lynch. Dispute over a dog. This is the kind of stuff that was going on. They say there was not really any law back when the silver mines were going crazy. 
Here's one, John Bass. June 26th, 1875. Shot by officer five times. And he must have been doing something wrong. Okay. Uh, that one's just got a name. It's odd, this one's facing a different direction. That's why it's such bad shape. Andre Whitlos killed by J.S. Maxwell, September 4th, 1879, it looks like. 1879. 1844, 1873. Morgan Courtney. Feared by some, respected by few, detested by others, shot in the back five times from ambush. Check that out. And that's an original. Not a replica or something. That's a, actually from the 1800s. Pretty amazing. Actually is incredible. This is terrible. This one fell down. This one's hard to read, but it's from the 1800s. Uh, eighteen seventy, right there. I'm not sure how to fix this one. Here we go. Try to prop that back up. Needs more rocks. God damn it. The, the wind is just blowing everything over. It's impossible. I'm just going to have to lay it down. That one, the wind blew down. The fucking wind is ridiculous. Here's a tramway. You can see that. The wind is out of control. This one's 1870, difficult to read. Uh, okay. Looks like John something Clancy, 1871, killed by uh, whatever that says down there. You know, all this crap in the way here. The wind blew that down. Today and tomorrow it's going to be real shitty with wind. Look at this. All from the fucking wind. Check that out there. This is, this is a tramway, you can see here, you don't want that to fall on you, it's kind of windy, you can even hear me, the wind is terrible. I think this was, it says a memory, in memory of the 19 Chinese residents of Peochi placed by the something family 18, uh, 1986 to 2000. I don't know how to help. Somebody stepped on it or something. Anyway, this is what this is for. The Chinese miners. Oh wow, it's fragile. Anyway. That's 
messed up. And then there's the rest of that tramway down there. 